Hello, good morning, welcome. My name is Liz, and today we'll be doing some hard hitting investigative journalism to determine who is the superior Fanning sister, Dakota or Elle. Let's investigate. Point A Dakota has been in more movies. Both actresses have had a very extensive career considering their young ages, but Dakota has been in five more productions than Elle has. Elle has only been in 61 movies and television shows, while Dakota has been in 66. I know you're sitting there thinking, Liz, Dakota's four years older than Elle. Of course she has more movies than she does. Well, dear viewer, did you know that the whole family moved out to LA when Dakota was five? And when Dakota Fanning had her breakout role in I Am Santa at the age of seven, who was cast to play her younger self but her younger sister Elle? They started at the same time. And I would argue that Dakota had more of a disadvantage over Elle because she lacked the enzyme that broke down her baby teeth and had to have them all pulled manually by a dentist and had to wear fake teeth during her whole childhood career, basically. That's so upsetting. So Elle gets a point for having better tea. Our next point goes to Elle Fanning because she has the better name. I hate the name Dakota because it's like that girl from third grade who only played horse on the playground and when you were like, hey, do you wanna like play hopscotch with us? She said, nay. Both of the actresses actually go by their middle names. So they're actually Hannah Dakota Fanning and Mary L Fanning. Honestly, Hannah Fanning, like, rolls off the tongue. Hannah Fanning. Hannah Fanning. I'm a fan of Hannah Fanning. Maybe it's just too many ends. Maybe they made the right call. The next point goes to Dakota Fanning for a higher net worth. Dakota Fanning is worth 16 million while Elle is only worth 5 million. I remember when I was only worth 5 million. <laughs> Elle gets the next point because she's been in more productions that start with the word the. More than a sixth of her productions have started with the word V. The Beguile, The Grave, The Nightingale, The Lost Room, The Roads Not Taken, The Neon Demon, The Box Trolls, The Nutcracker, The Curve of Forgotten Things, The Nines. I can't read. What up? I'm Jared. I'm 19. Meanwhile, Dakota's only been in five the blanks, you know? Pathetic. The next point goes to Elle for height. Dakota is only five foot four, while Elle is a whopping five foot seven. No offense, Dakota Fanning, but you're short. Dakota Fanning gets the next point because Tom Cruise sends her birthday presents every year. Like, that has to be worth a point. The next point goes to the both of them because in 2005, when the English version of My Neighbor Totoro was released, they voiced the sisters Mei and Satsuki, which is really cute. Which is actually the only time that they have played sisters in a production until now. They're gonna be in some movie called The Nightingale about sisters stranded during World War II. Who cares? The next point goes to Elle because she auditioned for a role on Friends and didn't get it and then proceeded to boycott the entire show. So I love anyone who hates Friends, so point to her. The next point has to go to Dakota for being in the best movies. War of the Worlds, Secret Life of Bees, Uptown Girls, and of course Twilight. Elle gets a point for being a voice in the box trolls because that's incredible. Elle Fanning gets docked a point because she's been working on a Woody Allen movie. They both get points though because they are child actors and they seem fairly well adjusted. Dakota Fanning gets docked a point for peaking in 2005. I know it's harsh and cruel, but I'm not giving a point to someone who peaked in middle school. I'm giving the next point to Elle for being in the Superior Period television series. It's just hard to say. Now, Elle is in The Great, and Dakota is in The Alienist, and The Great's just, like, really good, so point to her. The Great is really great. I'll say Dakota has done the best work, but I think Elle has a lot more potential moving on. Oh, wait, wait, wait! Oh, my God! Okay, 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 it's a tie. What do you want me to say? They're both really talented and have their own merits, and why are we pitting women against each other in the first place? Yeah, think about that. 
Anyways, thank you so much for watching. Let me know in the comments which fainting sister you think is best. As always, be sure to like and subscribe and stay tuned next week for a new video. Bye! Monkey.